let's discuss today about polyps in the uterus or what's known as the endometrial polyps now polyps are a small growth like grape like growth seen sometimes in the uterine cavity uh, the inner lining of the uterus is known as endometrium every month the lining grows and sheds and when it sheds is what we know see as periods menstrual periods sometimes there can be a small growth inside this inner lining and that's known as polyp or endometrial polyp now endometrial polyps can cause sometimes heavy flow during periods they can cause intermenstrual bleeding that means bleeding in between the period cycles or sometimes infertility they prevent sometimes implantation of the embryo and causing second infertility and uh, in women who have attained menopause menopause is when you have not got your periods for more than one year and if there is a bleeding after that we need to evaluate and uh, quite often we end up seeing these endometrial polyps causing bleeding postmenopausal bleeding causing a little anxiety now most polyps are usually benign or non cancerous but they need to be removed one whenever there is symptoms because of these polyps now uh, traditionally uh, dnc used to be done to remove these polyps dnc is we just blindly curate the inner lining uh sometimes the polyp comes out in the curette sometimes it remains stuck to the uterus so what's gold standard is to do something called hysteroscopy hysteroscopy is taking a camera a telescope with a camera attached inside the uterine cavity inside the uterus and we can actually see the entire cavity and see wh what is the growth where is the growth coming from and remove the growth or the polyp from the root so hysteroscopy is a preferred mode of removing the endometrial polyps and once this polyp is removed we send it for biopsy and we'll know what kind of polyps they are whether they are cancerous or non cancerous polyps and uh, if they are non cancerous hysteroscopy becomes the treatment for that also